guys, I've got to get rid of all of this cash. Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Weekly Bullion. Please hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. But today I want to talk about what we see in front of us, cash, and why it's going to zero. You know, back when I was a kid, I remember pumping gas for my mom back when I was probably, I don't know, 14, 15, maybe 13. And I remember that gas cost about a buck 10. And now gas is over $4 a gallon. I remember taking vacations with my family to a spot where we used to go in Scottsdale. And on off peak time, you know, we could get that place for maybe $350 a night. And now today, that same location is renting for over $1,000 a night. How many of you all remember going to get, say, a, a, a steak or a blackened salmon at your favorite restaurant and knowing that that entree would probably cost you maybe $21, maybe $24 for that entree? And now that same steak or that same salmon is costing about $41 an entree. When we were young, we were told to save our money, to stack our cash. And for many of us, that's what we did. But then we realized that for every $100 you put into the bank, the next year it's gonna be $91 next year after that it's going to be something like $85 in terms of what it can purchase and that's what turned me on to precious metals when you have a precious metal such as silver silver is something that is going to retain its value over time because it's a metal and it's a precious metal and it's been around for many many years let's look at something different let's look at gold this beautiful american eagle one ounce coin this has been around since like the days of like babylon uh, the days of rome and this has been a store of wealth for many kingdoms many countries many kings many queens over time and it still holds value today what i realized is that gold and silver are much better predictors of what you're going to be able to purchase down the road so right now this one ounce gold coin can probably get me a round trip air ticket to say Hawaii and back for say me and my spouse. Now, what we know is the cost of that airfare is gonna go up, but I'm willing to bet money and have faith in this gold that in the year, say 2042, once all the prices have continued to go up, that this same one ounce of gold is going to be able to get my spouse and I to Hawaii and back. Even though the price is whatever it's going to be, or $3,200 for, you know, two tickets, something like that. This ounce of gold will continue to allow me to have access to that particular service. This American Eagle, beautiful coin, 2015, it's a nice year. This one ounce American Gold Eagle today, the value that's present within this precious metal today, this one ounce of precious metal, I can go to Chipotle and I can get a veggie burrito with all my add-ons. I can get some chips and guac and I can get a sparkling water. And that's about what this will allow you to get today. Now, what do you want to bet in 20 years once the price of that same meal has gone up to, say, 40 bucks? 
this American Silver Eagle will still allow you to have that same meal, that same burrito, that same uh, chips with guacamole, and that same sparkling water. The value of everything you see around it, this Fiat, you're gonna need more of that for the same goods and services. But with precious metals, this gives us access to the things that we need later on down the road when we need them. And it helps us protect the value of the work we put into the economy today, which is another thing. I encourage everyone to do this. Look at what your salary was, say, 15 years ago, and then look at the spot price of gold 15 years ago and say, okay, if I worked for a year, how many ounces of gold could I buy in that year? And then fast forward 15 years today with all your raises and all the other stuff that they've given you and say, okay, well, if I'm working today, even with my raises over the last 15 years, how many ounces of gold can I buy this year with my current salary versus my even smaller salary 15 years ago, back when I was in the workforce. And I think you're gonna find that if you control for all the other variables, you're working for less ounces of gold today than you did in the past. And that's why, folks, we have to maintain our vigilance. That's why precious metals are so important. It's important to have this within our savings plan it's important to have this for the livelihood and stability of our family there's absolutely no reason why we should work so hard today and put all of this precious energy into the economy today only for when we need to redeem the value of what we put into the economy today we only have a fraction of it and that's what fiat's going to get you but not so with gold. With gold and precious metals, if I worked hard this entire week and I made $3,000 this week, I can go and say, get this Libertad. And then I have faith that in 20 years, when I need the value of that $3,000, that I can redeem that value out of this beautiful coin although i'm not going to get rid of it ever this is going in my deep stack i'm going to enjoy this and probably i don't know give it to my son or someone who appreciates it but that's what i wanted to talk about today that's all i've got fiat is going to zero it's going to near zero i hope it doesn't happen but right now things are not looking good and i'm not sure if we have a plan for it I hope we do, because I have a lot of faith and confidence in our great country to hopefully right the ship. We've been in tough spots before, but one thing I know, gold has been around a long time. So has silver. Here it is right here. This stuff is going to last. This stuff will allow us to purchase things we need later on down the road. What do you all think about stacking gold and silver? Please leave me a comment below. Please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys. Until next time, stay blessed and keep stacking.